All right, Shalom, Shalom. Call Lion La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash. Double honors to the elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akiam out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite faunas. And a strong Shalom to the Akwav sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth, your eyes from Yahawada, Amoth, your eyes from Yahawada, coming at y'all again with another beautiful lesson, uh, a quick hit, or hopefully a quick hit, well, you know, we're going to see how the spirit uh, deals with us. Um, I just wanted to bring a reminder, <sighs> Salakia Israel, I just wanted to bring a reminder to Israel that we, um, we're here to serve punishment. We're not here in this captivity to prosper, man. We are here to serve punishment. We are not here to prosper. We're not here to be wealthy. We're not here to be famous. We're not here to be, here to, be uh, to establish our kingdom right now. We're here to serve punishment because we went against our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Okay, so that's the main basis, man. We we forsook his ways. We did... Uh, a lot of things that we wouldn't we was we wasn't supposed to do, you know, and so he cast his face away from us and put the curses on us, man. We're not gonna read through every curse, okay? I'm gonna hit a few that I want to hit, and then you know Yahweh Rathazah, if the spirit takes us somewhere else, the spirit takes us somewhere else. But other than that, I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit the uh, the precepts that I want to hit, okay? So let's go ahead and get Deuteronomy chapter chapter six first. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 6. Okay, I want to make a point there real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 15, and it reads this. For Yahweh thy power is a jealous power among you. Least the anger of Yahweh thy power be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Okay, so Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah basically re repeated himself over and over and over and over and over again, man. It's like talking to your kid, man, when you're saying, stop, don't touch that. Stop, get back, don't do that. You keep on repeating yourself, and you, you get so frustrated, you get tired. And then you got to, you know, you got to chastise your, your child. You got to uh, 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 put a punishment on it, man, him or her, okay? And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah uh, had to do to us, man. He got tired of keep on saying the same thing. He got tired of all the all the uh, the wickedness that we was doing, that we was doing, Salakia, and us offering, you know, our, our, our sin offerings and peace offerings and burnt offerings, you know, etc. Man, he got tired of that, so he's at a point he was like, "Nah, I don't, I don't want that no more." Y'all just, y'all just sinning, just, just to be sinning, and then to bring me an offering for me, for me to, uh, ex for y'all to expect me to keep on forgiving you. He's like, "Nah, I don't want that no more. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send my son, and my son is gonna cleanse his. Uh, he's gonna be the lamb. He's gonna be the last sacrifice." Okay, but that's another lesson for a different time. So let's just keep on going. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to read verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Y'all should know this by heart, man. And it reads this. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay. All these curses shall come upon thee, shall come up, shall come upon thee and overtake thee, man. All right, so let's go ahead and hit a few, man. Let's let's hit a few. We ain't gonna hit all of them, but we are gonna hit a few. Okay, let's go to uh, what is that? Salakia. Is that thirty-seven? I want to hit. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, proverb, and a byword among all the nations, whither the Lord, Yahweh, shall scatter it to lead thee. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, where Yahweh shall lead thee. And that's right, man. Okay? Yeah, all, man, all the tribes have come different names, man. Okay? Uh, Gad, Native American Indians. Reuben, uh, uh, Seminole Indians, which Indian means savage. And then you know the other, the other kingdoms. They they put y'all in, in a in a charter of Latino Hispanic, and what is what does Hispanic mean? Hispanic means a uh, uh, property of Spain. What does Jamaican mean? A uh, place of what wood and stone. 
Puerto uh, Puerto uh, Puerto Rican uh, rich port. How in the hell are these nationalities, man? These are these are proverbs and bywords, man. Okay, for 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 uh, Judah and um, Levi. You know, and also including Benjamin too. You can include Benjamin in this uh, niggas, Afro Americans, Negroes, colors, coons. Raccoons. I mean, come on, man. All types of this, this folly, man. Blasphemy, man. Those are not black. Those are not nationalities, man. I hate, I hate when when you Israelites, man. I'm black. Oh, so so you're the color of my Air Force Ones. You're black. You're the color of my shoes. Uh, uh. They, they saw get dumbfounded, man. You clearly know that we're different shades. Even if you, even if you see a real, real dark Jake, he's not black. He's just dark brown, man. Oh, man, let's keep on going, man. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Well, Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Yahweh yeah, shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And that's right, man. A lot of our people have a lot of madness on them, man, because you'll coon for master, but yet you'll show a complete hatred and madness towards your brothers and your sisters, man. Okay? You, it'll be something clear as day that basically these people have shown that they hate us for the past 500 years plus and you'll be completely blinded to it and you'll say I, I, I hate when Jake say this man they not all bad no problem they not all bad just stay away from me man just please do not come near me if you see me on the street act like you don't see me I don't have nothing to say to you I already know what type of person you is you want to tap dance for massa and it's just like <laughs> It's just like my one of my beloved elders, man. He, he, he when he say this, well, we sick, boss. We sick, boss. <laughs> Jake, man, y'all, man. But you know what, man? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is putting the spirit on this devil, man, to show you who he is, man. And then, and then when it, when uh when evil E bring that wrath on y'all, and those prophets were telling you who this man was, it's gonna be too late then, cause your judgment is gonna be at hand. And Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna let these cave beasts have their way with you, man. And you Eve's too, you nigger woman. Whoo, boy, old Bill, you, you better hope you ugly. You better hope you ugly. You ain't got no chest. You ain't got no booty. You ain't got nothing. You stink. Your, your teeth is rot. You better hope that you ain't got nothing going for yourself. Cause if you look even the slightest, the, the slightest bit of attraction to you, just the slightest, you're getting raped. Okay, trust me. Ravished, ravished. Okay, let's keep on going. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 28, obviously, verses 43 to 44. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. And that's right, man. Man, I don't care if you're a celebrity and you have millions. And you too, Kanye uh, and Jay-Z. Oh, I got billions of man. The, the, the cave dweller can take that from you just like, just like that, man. He gave it to you and he can take it away from you. This is his kingdom, man. What do y'all not get, man? You, you want to go ahead and sell out and eat shit and, and, and be on that mo stuff? Drinking uh, 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 kid blood and stuff? It don't make a difference, man. These devils gave it to you, they can take it from you, man. You are not above. Yeah, you 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 a little bit above uh, us people in poverty and in the projects and you know in the ghettos and stuff. You a little bit above us, but you're still the tail, man. You're not the head, just still the tail. Okay? Prime example, you see what they did to Nick Cannon, what they trying to do to Ice Cube, uh, Deshaun Jackson, and uh Sean Jackson, I want to say that the basketball player. Okay, and you know it, it might it, it might be said it might not who knows but still though man they they making they making them examples man they letting you know you, you don't say that the master if master tell you to, if master tell you to shut up you shut up if master tell you to, to hop on one foot you better do it if master tell you to skip and wear a dress you better hurry up and say what what color what, what color dress which one okay they control you man you ain't nothing but they puppets man so you are the tail just like we are tail man. We're, 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 and, and the thing about it is, the basis of men is over us right now and running us, man. <laughs> the basis, man. This cave beast is the basis of men. Every other nation is over top this man. 
This man can't even sit outside in the sun uh, uh, 20 minutes without sunblock, man. And you mean to tell me that you... <laughs> man, let's, let's just keep on going, man. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. All right, I want to go to... Hag let's jump out of this real quick. Let's go to Haggai. If I'm saying it right, if I'm not, if I'm not Salaki, Haggai. Uh, what did you say? Haggai chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And ye that earn of wages, earn of wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shall of hosts, consider your ways. Okay? Punishment, man. This is a punishment, man. You living off check to check. Okay? You ain't got enough uh, uh, money to feed everybody in the house. You ain't got enough money to give everybody the proper amount of clothes they need. Socks, drawers, pants, uh, tops, you know what I'm saying? Winter coats, shoes, various shoes, you know, summer shoes, sandals for your daughters, and, and uh, you know, obviously uh, winter boots, man. We, you don't, we don't have enough for nothing. We, we, we living off a of paycheck and paycheck, you know. There's, there's stuff in your house that probably don't even work. You know, you, you probably got uh, mice and uh, rats, uh, uh, roaches and everything else that you got to worry about, too. You probably can't leave food sitting out. Ants and roaches is going to get it. Okay? We are being punished, man. There's, there was, there's no... If, you, if you're proud and happy in this damn kingdom, then you're just wicked, man. You're just wicked and you deserve a judgment, man. You deserve it. Point blank, period. If you're proud and happy in this kingdom, I don't see how. I hate this fucking place. I'm vexed. And I was vexed, matter of fact. And that's, you know what? That's the point, too, man. I was vexed today, man. I had a lot of stuff on my mind today, but, you know... My elder called me today, and he, he lifted my spirit, man. He lifted my spirit, man, you know? And my, my other brother, you know what I'm saying, he was all out there doing his camp today, his live camp. I hopped on his joint, and he, 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 uh, he made my spirit uh, more better too, man. You know what I'm saying? The brotherhood is good, man. We, we lift each other up, man. You know, we all vex, man. But talking to your brother, man, you got, you got that, you know, that, that shoulder to lean on, man. Regardless if that brother is in the physical with you or on the phone, man. You know, take advantage of that right now, man, because it's going to come to a point where we not be, might not be able to call brothers, man, or be able to, you know, reach out to a brother that's down the street or or, or, or a city over, you know what I'm saying? So we got to take advantage of that now, man, to build ourselves up, man. Okay, let's keep on going. Let me stop talking. All right, let's go to Baruch real quick. Cause I made a state because that bit that'll line up with this a little bit too. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. That'll be a good uh a good kind of line up with this. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power. Okay? This is a curse, man. We are under a curse, man. Everything's a payment, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta pay to have you gotta you gotta pay to live. You gotta pay to have health insurance, man. What type of shit is that? You gotta pay for water. When water drops from the heavens for free, man. You gotta pay for electricity. You gotta pay for gas for your car if you got one. You gotta pay for a uh, 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 cable. To watch TV, to watch the news, man. To keep up what's going on in, in their witchcraft, man. You got to pay rent every month. And your job ain't, ain't even paying you enough for you to save up money, man. It's, it's, it's barely, barely, probably barely paying you enough to, to pay all your bills. So you probably got to choose which bill you ain't going to pay this month. You're going to pay it next month. Lord willing. That, that they don't cut it off. And then you got uh, other fees added on top of that, man. We are here to serve out our punishment, man. We are under a curse right now, man. We are not here to prosper, man. Okay? 
We are not here to prosper, man. But let's believe, brothers and sisters, man. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is rolling these prophecies, man. Okay? He's rolling these prophecies off the pages, man. Okay? So he's he's hearing us, man. Man, keep on prophesying, keep on praying, keep on fasting, keep on studying, keep on showing brotherly love, showing alms, keep on doing everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah tells us to do, man. Then we'll get the hell up out of here, and then our kingdom will be established, and this kingdom will be destroyed, man. Koholayim la, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakafradash, man. Let's keep going, man. All right, let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. And I believe we're going to read verse 54, if I'm not mistaken. Con, 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 verse 54, I believe. Yeah. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54, and it reads this. So that the man is so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Okay? So if you are if you if you if you for you newcomers seeing this, if you wonder why <clears throat> so like if that we that why you why we have so much hatred for our people and why we kill each other and fight each other and all you stepped on my Jordans, nigga, this and that and blah blah blah. We are under a curse, man. Okay, to, to lift to lift that up and to make you feel compassion for your true brothers and sisters that's out here doing the work, you gotta repent and come back to your by Shimmy Hawa Shah, man. It's as simple as that, man. So that the tender man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children where she shall leave. And you know, we, man, Jake, we like to get it in, man. We like to get it in, man. But you know, in, in the midst of that curse, of that curse of us having kids and leaving our kids, it's also been stuff uh, put in the mixture of that to have Eve go against us, man. You know these free these free government programs that basically told them to take the man out of the house and we'll give you this 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 and that, and they gladly did it, man. And now you got our women so bugged out that they think they don't that they think that they don't need a man, man. Raising uh raising kids that are monsters, man. That are that are, that are highly emotional like a woman, man. And I'm talking about you, young men. That are highly emotional like a woman, man. Going off emotion and not going off of logic, man. Going out here to get killed, man. Cause you want to follow behind your mom wearing a tampon, man. When you're supposed to have on have on boxes of briefs, man. You ain't supposed to be wearing no tampon, man. Out here got lip gloss on and everything else, man. Paint your nails with that clear uh, nail polish. Talking about you trying to get your nails to grow. You, somebody need to smack shit out you, man, if you're doing that, man. Seriously. And I wanted to put something else with that, too. Uh, Psalms 69. Psalms chapter 69, verse 8. I have become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. And that's right, man. And just like I said, you know, we, we're strangers to our brothers, man. We, we didn't we didn't love our well. We didn't love ourselves when we when we uh was in the world before we repented back to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. We were strangers amongst one another, man. We hated one another, one another's man. And I, and and an alien unto my mother's children. That's right, man. And I, you know, I'm and another a thing that the brother said this past weekend, uh, at the Dallas camp when they had the unity camp, cause I I resonated with it so much, man. Uh, I forgot the brother's name. It's the short brother with the glasses. Uh, can't, I can't think of his name. It's in my head, but I can't think of it. Um, he said I'm the black sheep of the fam the family. I said, man, I feel that, man, cause I've always been the black sheep of the family, man. I've always got treated. Like an outcast, man. My mother always favored, uh, favorited uh, uh, my youngest brother. You know, my my oldest brother, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, took him took him uh, in, in the night in ninety in ninety five in DC. And my sister, she's just she's just a damn demon, man. You know, and everybody everybody always my mother, my sister, even my younger brother. And her her ex husband that passed away, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, he took his ass too. 
uh, they've all I, they always treated me like an outcast, man. I was the only one. My brother just, you know, he left. He was in his own thing, you know, running from the police and stuff. But I was the only one that literally got shoved out the house. Like, get like, get out, nigga. Like, go. You got to go. You can't stay here. You 18? Get your ass out. That's how they treated me, man. That's how they treated me, man. You know? All right, so let's keep on going, Israel. Let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Yeah, man, that's how they treated me, man. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which will not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. And that's right, man. I've seen that, man. I've seen that clearly, man. You know, amongst amongst all the uh, all Israel, man. You know, I, I've seen women sit right here, had their kids all jacked up. You know, kids looking all not even dressed right and clothes small, face all dirty, all dirtied up. But yet they fly. Okay, they fly as hell, but their kids is jacked up. You go in their house, house dirty as shit, stuff everywhere. But yet they keep their pussy clean. And then if they got a man, they treat their man like they like they like they like like, like he the woman and they the man. Telling him, nigga, you better shut up, nigga. I'm gonna punch you in your mouth. And like, let me say this, man. Any any woman step into a man and acting like they can whoop a man, and then when, when that man smack the shit out of you or punch the hell out of you, and then you say, I'm a woman, what you doing? What the hell you doing stepping to a man? That's 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 common sense, man. Don't sit right here and act like you something that you ain't, man. And then and then when you get corrected, you want to switch up. <sighs> that time is coming, man. Y'all y'all true sisters, man. That's in this for real, man. Keep staying the faith, man. You how about shit? How shot? Give you a man to to shield you in those days, man. But you nigga woman, mm, 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 mm. you got to get that punishment, man. Cause I've run across, I've, I've even had women, you know, that I've dealt with, that try to like step to me like they was the man and all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, thanks for showing me who you are. I'm not going that route because I know if I knock your ass out, it's gonna be you gonna have me in court and jail and all that. And I, I'm not doing it. Not, on top of that, I don't hate women, but thank thank you for showing me who you are. Do not call me. Leave me alone. And then later on later on down the line, when they realize that you was a good dude, they try to call you. Nah, I changed my I didn't change my number plenty of times just to avoid crazy ass Eves, man, or crazy ass nigga woman, man. I didn't change my number numerous times, man. Okay, but you know they treat their kids like shit, man. You know, but I ain't, you know, I ain't. I ain't let's just let's just keep on going, man. Cause we we can use plenty of examples, man, on, on the man and uh, Eve. All right, let's go to uh, uh, precept sixty six, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, verse sixty six. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. And that's right, man. That's right, man. Man, Jake, man. Even, <laughs> even our days, you know, still to this day, man, you get pulled over by the police, man, your heart just drops down to your nuts, man. Automatically. Or slack it, man, for the language, man. But your heart just drops down to, you know, to your feet or whatever, man. You're just like, you're just scared, man. You don't, you don't know what's going to happen, man. You know? Even even among your own people, man, you go out, you you doing what you doing, you you hanging around a bunch of niggas, no good niggas. They don't care, but only care about themselves, man. So why they gonna care about your life, man? You know, and and the, and the most uh the most Israelites that 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 have no protection and that have no uh nothing to shield themselves is the is the ones that's being aborted, man. It's them babies that's being aborted, man. Those, those, that's the highest uh, murder, murder, uh, murder rate in the United States, man. Is abortion, man. Those, those Jake, those uh, Jake babies, man. That's that's getting killed in abortions, man. That's the highest uh, death rate, man. That's higher than COVID. Okay, is 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 that a uh, pandemic? Is they is they making laws to stop you know abortions? No. And evil, he would die before he before. I wouldn't know. Stop killing and stop killing the niggers off abortions. Of yeah, uh, yeah, right off of my dead body. Yeah, right, buddy. Come on, man. 
Let's keep it moving, man. Let's go to Amos. <coughs> That's me. Amos chapter 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and daughters shall fall by the sword, and, and thy land shall be divided by, by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. And that's right, man. Man, our women are hoes, man. Our women are hoes, man. My last, my last, uh, my ex-wife, the one I got, the one I got my kids by, my ex-wife had the nerve to tell me what I meant. So it's a woman can't, can't go out here and sleep with men because uh, y'all do it. And it just, you know, it just made me look, it just, I, when I look at her, man, she just disgusts me, man. My stomach just hurt when I look at her, man. You know? Because she truly showed me that she's a whore, man. Truly. It's a lot of stuff I can say about it, but it's no need for me to do it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's it's just disgusting, man, to have all these rods up in you and to, to, for you to let all these men come in you, man. You know, because you, uh, you're carrying, you're carrying all them spirits on you, man. You're carrying that man's semen for the rest of your life, and you're carrying a lot of spirits on you, man. Okay? And as far as, like, you know, our sons and our daughters being died, dying by the sword, it's because there's no guidance in the house, man. Like I said, you know, the, the, the government has, uh, Easy e and his, his, and his government has uh, made programs to get the man kicked out of the house and also signed bills to get the man locked up for years upon years, man. Okay, so he can slither his ass in there and, you know, do what he want to do and have those, uh, those, those kids not have any guidance from the man. And so they can be destroyed and go out into the streets and get killed, man. That's why you got uh, little E's out here bugging out, like I said, stepping the men like they men, trying to play the role of a man. And you got the men out here being effeminate, man. Don't don't know whether they whether they straight or or moles, you know. Ain't got ain't got no no correct uh, uh, guidance on life or how how to use logic. They only only using emotions. So when they come across their own kind, they either get in fights or they get themselves killed, man. Okay. And we got pushed from our land, man. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah took us from our land in 70 AD, man. Okay? And now we're in a polluted land, man. There's nothing, there's nothing righteous about the Americas, man. There's nothing righteous about the whole earth right now. Nothing. Everything's polluted, man. GMO foods, the damn air is chemtrails all day, every day. Okay? What is what is, what is righteous about uh the earth? Because evil we run the whole earth. So what is righteous about the earth right now? Everything's polluted, man. Everything. Man, we are we are oppressed, man. Literally. Okay, let's keep on going, man. We die, we we literally die in a polluted land, man. Alright, let's go to Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9, verses 10 to 11. Neither have we obeyed the voice of Yahweh, our power, to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Israel has transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey the voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. You hear that? Let me, let me start over again. Verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed the, thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, because we have sinned against him. And that's right, man. You know, you know, we, we, I, I can see our people right now back in the old days, man. You know, Yahweh he ain't gonna do nothing to us, man. He, he got us, man. He gonna, he gonna let us slide because he love us, man. Hand me that, hand me that pork chop, man. He ain't going to do nothing to us, man. Yahweh love us, man. He just playing with us. You know he playing with us, nigga. You know. You know how our people is, man. Our people act, act, act like they retarded, man. They they, they took Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah's words for a joke. You know? Took his words for a joke. And look where we at now. In captivity, man. With the, with the basis of men. This red, hairy cave beast over us, man. 
that didn't even know how to wash his ass, brush his teeth, how to survive or win, how to do nothing. Nothing. We had to teach this devil how to do all that, man. Man, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is a master, man. He, 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 boy, oh boy, man. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> For real. Let's go to Baruch, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is the master chess player, man. So y'all want y'all want to keep on playing with me? Y'all want to be hard headed? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what, what being hard headed gets you. I'm gonna show you, okay? This is Baruch chapter 4, and I'm going to read verses 6 to 8. Yea, we're, ye were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because ye moved Yahweh to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nurtured you. And that's right, man. Completely went off, completely transgressed against everything that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah made that covenant with us, man. We just, you know, uh, man, all right, man, you forget Yahweh. I ain't, okay, y'all, y'all want to forget me? Let me show you what, what happens. Okay, so we here for punishment, man. We here because we didn't hearken to the words and to the uh, the law, statute, and the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. Ain't no way around it, man. That's 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 the cold hard facts, man. Ain't no way around that, man. Okay? But now us true brothers and sisters, us 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 apostles, elders, seasoned brothers and prophets, we came back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. We doing the will that he gave us to the best of our ability to uh to 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 come out here and prophesy, preach and teach, to condemn this place and to tell the hopeful elect to repent and to come back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is hearing us, man. You know? It's a beautiful time right now we in. It's also scary and terrifying, but it has to happen, man. You know? All these prophecies and judgments has to come to pass before our king kingdom can be established, man. Okay? Let's, let's keep on going. We ain't got that many, Israel. Uh, let's go back to Baruch. Back to Baruch chapter 2 this time. We're going to start at verse 30 and end at verse 33. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am Yahweh, their power. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name, and return from their stiff neck, and re so like it, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before Yahweh. And that's right, man. That's that's what's happening right now. That's what's happening right now, man. Okay. And you got to be a damn fool to sit right here and think that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going is going to wake up his people. His, his uh, hopeful elect, his uh, one-third remnant, and not give him his name and his son's name. Come on, man. Come on, man. And for you people still calling uh, 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 the Messiah, our king, JC, you are bugged out, man. And, for, and furthermore, the first, one, one, of the, one of the first slave ships that, they, that, that, that got the slaves from, uh, from, from the west coast of Af Africa was called the Good Ship, Ship Jesus, man. You niggas is dumb, man. You niggas, you man, you two third niggas have got to go, man. We got the name, man. We knew we got the name, and we're in our captivities right now, in, in the Americas and across the four corners of the earth, where all the Israelites are scattered. You know, we are praising and giving all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and doing what we what He told us to do, man. And we remember what our fathers have done because it's written in the book, man. It's written in the book. So I don't want I don't want any questions to say, well, how, how do we know what our forefathers did? Read. Read, man. Pick up a book and read, man. Man, the saying is true, man. It's it's so true, man. If you want to hide anything from a nigga, put it in a book. 
But you now nah, you niggas rather go out and smoke blunts, drink 40s, 211, slits malt liquor, go out here and and and, uh, and try to have sex with your homeboys, girlfriend, or wife, whatever you want to call them, which, which in actual reality this is wife, because that's because we go off the scriptures. You know, you want to go out here and lay with all all type all types of you know, and that's why I, that's why so many people got so many diseases right now: herpes, syphilis, HIV, AIDS. You think these people are gonna tell you they got that shit? No, they're gonna keep on giving it to, to whoever they can. Idiots. Oh man, oh man. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 55, man. Is that the last one? Yeah, Isaiah chapter 55, man. I'll tell you, man, it's it's crazy, man. All right, Isaiah chapter 55, starting at verse 6, ending at 7. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And that's right now, man. Right now you have that window. But this window is closing, man. This window is closing, man. Okay, it's closing. Right now it's just, it's just a little bit of a, a, the words of Yahweh about Shin Yahweh is going out that window. You know, that, that little crack. That crack it's, the crack is it's like that. It's just going out, you know. Brothers flood lessons and everything else out that window right now. Okay? But when that window is shut, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Judgment is at hand. The, the angels that's holding the four corners of the winds uh, across the earth, they're going to let them go. And evil E is going to have that spirit. That spirit going to jump on evil E. It's going to be like, kill Israel, kill Israel. That's, that's man. Y'all think, think it's a game, man. Y'all think it's a game. Read on. Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon okay and we, we know Yahweh Shai's words is true man okay point blank period if he wrote it if he wrote it in the scriptures that's what's going to happen man and for us you know us true men of the Lord we forsook our way, man. We 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 took ourselves out of this out of this world, man, and came back to the to the threshold of Yahweh by Shem Shah. We go by what he tells us to do, man. We don't go by our own vain heart, which is our mind. Okay? The mind is deceitful above all things, man. Okay? We go off the words of Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. Point blank period, man. And we know we have the confidence, not uh not being proud or, or, or stubborn or anything like that. We have the confidence that we know that he's going to protect us, man. Okay? He's going to do everything that he said he's going to do for us because we do everything that he told us that he that we should do. We follow his orders. Okay? We don't question nothing. Okay? Oh, oh, you, oh, 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 oh do that? Okay, no problem, y'all. I'm doing that right now. I'm making haste. Matter of fact, that's the spirit. The spirit, the spirit is in here now. The spirit is in here. Let's go. Psalms 119. Let's go. I'm going to start at verse 58 in the 60. Psalms 119, starting at verse 58 and in the 60. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. Like I said. I thought on my ways and turned my feet onto my onto thy testimonies. I thought on my ways and turned my feet onto thy testimonies. I made haste. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So the real men of the Lord, man, we ain't gonna say, well, you know what, man, let me let me let me finish this blunt real quick and then I'll be over there. Nah. Everything's out of my life. I'm following. I'm following Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. I'm following Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Man's goings is of the Lord. Proverbs twenty and twenty four. Okay. The hopeful elect hear his voice and they follow the Lamb wherever he goes, man. Okay. We, look, so let me let, let me let me make something clear to y'all, man. We ain't out here playing with you, man. We ain't gonna play with you, man. Okay? We ain't gonna play with you, man. Okay? Fuck Esau. Fuck this kingdom. 
Fuck all you wicked Israel niggas, man. Everybody that's not about you, how about Hashem, Yahweh Shai, fuck you. And no, I ain't gonna apologize for my language. And if you don't like it, fuck you too. I'm all about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and my brothers and my sisters that's about Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. I ain't gonna play with you, man. And we ain't gonna play with you, man. Point blank, period, man. Let's get this last precept and we're gonna close it on out. Matter of fact, before I bring that out, look at his language. Oh my God. How can he, how can he be a. He, he's not a man of the Lord. Look, look at the way he talks. He just said, fuck everybody. These goddamn niggers, I swear. We should just send them back to Africa. Well, let's see what Paul said about having rude speech. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 6. But thou I, but though I be rude in speech, yet not knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. All, all, all effeminate men, the Sabador is that way. Okay? Grit up your loins, man. Stop, stop uh, having that big mama spirit. Because Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is looking for men, not fairies. All right, this is Baruch chapter 4 verse 28 for as it for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh so being returned seek him 10 times more for as it for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh so being returned seek him 10 times more and that's right when you first come back to the threshold seek Yahweh it's like it 10 times more and then the next day Yahweh right desire you wake up Seek him 10 times more. So that means 20. Then the next day, 30. And, and, this, and this, is, this is why I'm going to tell you why. Let's, let's, get, let's get it. Let's explain it. Let's go to Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 43. And, and I'll explain that to you more. And this is verse 30. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 43, verse 30. When ye glorify Yahweh, exalt him as much as ye can. For even yet will he far exceed, and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. So go further than ten times more. Go a hundred. The next day go two hundred. The next day go three. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash, man. So Israel, man, we are not here to prosper. We are here to serve punishment, man. To, 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 to be corrected, man. To be chastised by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai ain't gonna play with you, man. He ain't gonna play with you. Okay? And, and, and I'm his faithful servant, you know, uh, and that's that's the uh, that's the big brother, Amawan uh, Abad's uh, name. That, that's what his name means, for faithful uh, servant. But I'm also a faithful servant too of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and I ain't gonna play with you, okay? And we we are we always gonna do everything that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai tells us to do, and we here for punishment, and we know that this kingdom is falling because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai hears our cries, our prayers, our calls, and he see the work that we doing for him in his name, okay? So Israel, we are here for punishment. We are not here. To, to prosper. So with that, I'm just going to say, call Halayim, call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash. Wa, Abad, Baba, Shalom. Yahweh Ratazah to the next one.